Hi, I'm Lennart, the creator of Ambient CG, and today I want to show you an easy way of importing the materials you downloaded from the website into Blender without setting up all the material nodes by yourself. The key to this is called Universal Scene Description. It's a file format developed by Pixar to encode all kinds of different 3D assets in a way that can be read by many different tools. Blender has had USD support for a while now, but with the newly released version 3.5, the USD import has gotten a massive upgrade, which has made importing materials a lot easier. I'll jump into Blender in just a minute, but I quickly want to explain how USD files work because it makes the rest of the video a lot easier to understand. USD files can come in three different styles, indicated by their different file extensions, USDA, USDC, and USDZ. USDA contains 3D data in a plain text format. You can actually open it in a text editor and read it if you're curious. USDC contains the same data but in a more compact way, which leads to better performance for large files. And then there's USDZ. It contains both the USDC file as well as any additional files, such as texture maps, all packaged into one bundle. We'll see several of these file types in the following demo, so make sure that you have Blender version 3.5 or later if you want to follow along. And now let's jump in. Okay, let's take a look at how this actually works in Blender. Um, I'm in an empty scene. I've just added a plane and a point lamp. And over here, I have a material from Ambient CG, which I've already unzipped into a new folder. You can see here I have all the maps. I have the preview image and I have these USD files. So how do I actually get that into Blender? It's very simple. Just go to File, Import, USD. Then you can just take your file, the USDA file in this example, drop it in. And here in the menu to the right, make sure to enable this checkbox, which says import all materials. Also make sure that import USD preview is enabled, but that's on by default. Uh, and then you can just click import USD. And at first you won't really notice anything, but if we select the plane and go to the material editor, you can now see that this new material has been added. And if we click on it, you'll see that at first it looks kind of broken. That's because these UV maps have a name which Blender doesn't recognize. That's just an artifact from the way uh, the USD format works. But you can just click on it and select Blender's standard UV map. And you can see, if we go into render view mode, all the material properties, all the normal maps and roughness maps and everything have been imported into our scene. And we can now use our material. Let's take a look at another example because there's actually an even easier way of doing this. Because these zip files are also USDZ files. So if you just rename them from .zip to .usdz like this, then you can actually just import this file without even extracting it yourself. So just go to File, Import, USD and select your USDZ file. Again, make sure that the import all materials checkbox is set. And when we select the material and quickly patch up the UV maps, then you can see that we've imported the entire material just from this zip file without even extracting it. And another thing that I wanted to show is that even more exotic maps like emission maps are supported by the USD standard and so they will also be imported automatically. And that covers the basics of Blender's new USD material features. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas and I'll see you on ambientcg.com, social media or in the next video.